All right, guys, you've ripped your packs in MLB 22. You've built your team. You know where you've got to start, and you're looking to get some info on how to do Conquest the easiest and most effective way in MLB The Show 22. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know as a beginner, trying to complete Conquest the fastest and most effective way possible, because I really do believe it is one of the best ways to early on build up your team and get acclimated to the game. So if you enjoy the content, make sure you like the video and subscribe if you're looking for the most up-to-date news, tips, and info on MLB The Show 22. All right, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so you've set up your team and all your packs are ripped and now you're ready to start tackling the featured program for Faces of the Franchise. And now you want to go and start with Conquest to try and upgrade your team as well as unlock a ton of other XP and things like that. So let's hop into Conquest. I just want to take a quick overview here of the ones that you want to start with. So Nations of Baseball is the one that you want to start with early on. It is because you get, you know, the 88 Mike Piazza. It's a very good card. I've really, really enjoyed using them as well as a couple other high diamond cards that you can get early on for your team like Carrie Wood. Now, this is what it is going to look like when it starts after a few turns but i want to tell you tell you guys the strategies and things that you should look for early on when you were trying to get a good footing in conquest mode so the what you want to do it's a think of a lot like risk the goal is to acquire all 30 strongholds and now you'll see each stronghold mark by the team's logo okay so each team has a logo to start a stronghold to start you've got to go and try and collect all of them while taking over the entire map now i do need to mention this takes like 10 to 15 hours there's really no other fast way around that because you do have to play a lot of games no matter what so just taking a look at the goals as you can see i've already completed it but really the only thing that you need to worry about this year in the nations of baseball conquest is just taking over the entire map so how do you do that the fastest and most effective way possible all right so i'm going to show you guys just from scratch how to do this effectively so i'll go to restart and this will be the first turn what are you trying to do it looks very confusing what do you worry about early on all right so the best way to really get a great start in conquest to help you make this go by a little bit faster is expand as much as possible because you get more reinforcements every turn depending on how many territories you have controlled so we'll go through my first turn and we will literally just expand out not attacking anyone you'll see the colorado rockies are right there and you will just go out as far as you can towards seattle i like to go all the way to seattle and that's really where i focus filling it in the first two turns that way i have a lot of reinforcements coming every turn and the thing that, again, you want to focus on is just making sure that you get as many as you can. Don't stop until you are literally out of reinforcements and everyone has, you know, there's no more left. Now you're in the Steel Fans phase. I'll explain what it is. Essentially, you can play a team and steal some of their reinforcements for your next turn. But you can just avoid that. There's no reward for doing it. So you can just hit start and skip that phase. We'll skip to the reinforcement phase. And again, you will now see that you get four reinforcements because you've expanded far enough. So what you do is you click on the furthest one and just add in all the reinforcements that you want. Now you can also move. So let's say I had 10 guys right here, okay? You can move one turn. You can take from one tile. So I could take 10 players right there and put them all the right, right here. This is gonna be important once you have gotten so many reinforcements every turn that you're attacking maybe one stronghold and then you wanna start building up later so that you don't have to waste your time. So you can go ahead and skip that for this and go to the attack phase. Now, again, the second attack phase, same thing as the first one. Don't really worry about them attacking you because they won't really early on anyway. So now that I've gotten all that, you're back through the steel fan phase. We'll skip the reinforcement one more time. We'll do another five. And now we've got six per each round. And again, you want to make sure that you are just expanding as much as possible early on and not really worry about any of the other strongholds and where they're expanding to because you should have enough just by doing this um but just by doing this little section of the map and then i'll show you what to do guys once you've got enough and you're ready to take out a stronghold all right so now as you can see here i've gotten the entire top left section essentially now it's time to start going after some strongholds and there's really two ways to go about it you can essentially surround every stronghold and then play all of your games in a row that is a little boring to me because, you know, it's just kind of the monotony of the same thing, especially if you're not a huge fan of playing offline. So what I do is you can go ahead and add. So now I'm getting 13 reinforcements each turn just because I have selected that and I have one extra one here. I'm just going to throw that on my, stro my starting stronghold in case it gets attacked because you will have to defend it, but usually you don't really have to defend it ever. I've 
again the last time i played i didn't get attacked once um so just keep that in mind so now let's go ahead and we'll clear out now when you go in and try and do a take over one of the normal tiles this would be the non-stronghold you can go ahead and simulate and again it's like a wrist style in the background you will see uh some of like like a dice roll going on and you will you will lose or you'll go up against their you know how many reinforcements they have sometimes if you're going up and you have like 15 and they have 15 you might lose and that's fine but just keep going and usually if they just have one you'll be able to do it pretty quickly all right so now you want to take the stronghold you want to take seattle if you hit square you can actually switch the view and you will see how many reinforcements are on that specific stronghold so if you go ahead and attack seattle here you'll see that you have to play a game when you're going to take a stronghold you have to play the game to win it so you've got rookie veteran all-star hall of fame and legend if you are new to the game okay if you're brand new to the game what you want to do is just wait so again we'll go ahead and we'll take some more non-stronghold tiles okay just kind of solidify and make sure that they can't go anywhere else all right now we're down to eight what you want to do now in this sense is just skip to the steel fans phase and we'll skip to reinforce we've got to add a ton more we'll go right to this one and we'll just over straight up overpower them so let's go to the attack phase you'll go and now you see you've unlocked the veteran difficulty okay i would recommend if you are newer to the game and you haven't really grasped timing and everything like that just go ahead and do veteran i will say that if you play online a lot all-star is better because messing and slowing down pitch difficulties like if you go on rookie it's actually going to be pretty hard because the pitches are so slow and you're used to a little bit faster and it's going to mess you up outside of conquest and offline as well so you can go ahead i just play it on veteran because it's very easy and you will load into a three inning game where you have got to play the team that you are taking their stronghold now the other thing that you want to focus on is throughout this whole thing you will get those flashbacks and legends that i talked about in another video of mine i'll show you what ones those are because they are very important to kind of snowballing how you do conquest um, and that is to get more xp so you go to the faces of franchise conquest here you'll see that you'll get packs like this throughout it okay try and make sure that you take all of the pitchers you can because when you're doing conquest you can get the pitcher ones done very easy and again you can track your progress right here by going down and finding the actual player and how many more parallel xp you need parallel xp think of it as just like experience points by using and playing with the player that you are trying to finish here okay so again choose you know choose some pitchers and then once you're done that try and fill out a lineup and what you can do is go to manage squad and I literally have a program lineup where I have some players like Jim Edmonds where I just need to get some XP for that, you know, for that featured program. So back into conquest mode. Okay. Uh, back into conquest mode here. You're ready to attack. All right. You've got 21. I've got 21. They've got 10. We're ready to take it over. You go to veteran, select the pitcher that you want to, you know, get the parallel XP with. Uh, I don't really need one. Stick, if you don't have any, stick with one pitcher because it's important there. So Randy Johnson is who I basically use, and I got him to parallel three just by playing this, okay? Wow. Dude, Jordan Alvarez's own run was great. All right, so when you're playing this as well, if you want this to go as fast as possible when you're actually taking over the strongholds, once you get a lead, guys, you can literally just bunt your way through because, again, on veteran, it's pretty tough uh to give up a lot of runs so if you get a home run early or if you feel like you know you've got a dominant pitching staff you can literally just bunt your way through to speed things up a little bit and that way you know you don't have to take as many pitches now i do need to mention though guys the experience and paralleling your players is kind of important but if you really just want to burn through there's no reason and no problem doing it like that because again it just makes it a little bit faster for you i will say this guys make sure that you don't just leave one pitcher in when they're out of energy because even if you're playing on veteran they do tend to even if you're placing your pitches well uh they do tend to kind of hammer that so just make sure that you've got you know you're warming guys up and uh you're just you know other than that you should be able to just blow through all of this and uh strike them out or get enough junk balls in there sometimes they'll hit on run and whatnot but it's really nothing difficult because you are on veteran all right, so just like that, I am now done the Seattle Stronghold. And again, you will get parallel experience based on how you play with your players. If you have a lot of those of those uh, flashback cards in your lineup, I'd recommend not bunting and actually trying to just run up the score against them or pitch with the players that you needed because, again, those are used to get additional experience for the player program. All right, so now, as you can see here, I now own the seattle mariners uh there's their stronghold so now all you've got to do is just clean it up and it's rinse and repeat and it's all the way through 
uh, all the way down. Another little trick that you want to remember is that when you're attacking a stronghold, don't choose the pitcher that you have in your number one slot as your ace. If you actually choose like your fifth pitcher, no matter who it is, you won't have to play the ace of that team. So like, for example, if you're playing the Boston, if you're going to attack uh, the Boston Red Sox stronghold, if you play whoever's in your first spot, you're going to play Chris Sale. But if you don't, you'll get someone like Nick Pavetta or someone lesser than that. So just keep that in mind. That's a nice little trick to remember. All right, so that should do it for the nations of baseball conquest specifically. Again, not very difficult. It is. It does look a little daunting early on. Uh, it's just going to take some time and it might look a little confusing for you. But again, like I said, it's pretty simple. Once you just follow those simple steps, it's just rinse and repeat i want to bring up another conquest map though there will be more added throughout the year these ones up here aren't really going to give you anything much and they're going to take you like 10 minutes they're mostly just tutorials but this mystery map one i want to bring up because all you've got to do is take out three strongholds on this map and you will get five free show packs so five of the base packs and it is repeatable you can just keep doing it over and over and over again and farm packs it takes about 40 45 minutes to do this but if you've got the time and you're free to play you don't want to spend any money this is definitely worth it for you if you just want to farm packs over and over again so i just want to throw that out there if you do it a couple times you know maybe save up 20 and rip them all at once who knows maybe you'll pull a trout all right guys so that is going to do it for all of the conquest tips again it is not very difficult if you have any questions make sure that you ask in the comment section down below be happy to help out if you enjoy the video please give it a like and subscribe for up-to-date MLB news tips and info. I'll see you next time, guys.